and I just got tipped off by a guy that just left on a four-wheeler about some really cool forestry roads that will take us where we're going. We made it. So what? Well, I'm gonna go take a sheets sink shout sheets. Say that three times. Good morning. What's up guys? Good morning. It's a really cool sky this morning. Really beautiful. Had to enjoy it for a minute. Just sit here and take it in. So the game plan for today is we're going to drive about an hour west to the Allegheny River and then we're going to canoe. It's about a four or five hour float trip. But we do have the electric trolling motor so if needed be, we could shorten that. We could move a little faster. But as I'm sitting here watching the sky, some clouds rolling in, the wind's picking up. I think it's supposed to rain, although I haven't had enough service on my phone to actually check the weather. So I think we're just gonna get ready. We're gonna head out that way and uh, stop at the outfitter. We have a reservation. I'd like to meet the guy anyways, get his suggestion. And uh, if I don't find service somewhere along the way, I'm sure he can tell me what the weather's gonna do. And uh, I don't, I'm not opposed to getting a little wet, but straight downpours on the river in a canoe all day, yeah, that won't be too fun. So we're going to get dressed, get ready, get out this trail, and uh, let's get ready to hit the road. And just like that, we have our first sprinkles. <laughs> Haven't even really got dressed yet. But if this is the kind of rain we're gonna have, absolutely fine canoeing in it. So let's hope it's just little sprinkles here and there. We'll be all right.
Well, we made it down here to Allegheny Outfitters and I uh, just met up with the owner and uh, had a fair amount of rain. Hold on. Big truck. We had a fair amount of rain on the, the drive out here and it's calm now, but uh, he pulled up the radar for me and there is definitely some heavy stuff rolling through. There's some, there's some yellow and oranges and teeny bit of red that might hit and uh, yeah, this isn't really a part of the river you want to get stuck on in a downpour. So, unfortunately, we're going to pass on the canoes. Not sure what we're going to do yet, but I did see these hanging up here. These big old elk sheds. And we're actually pretty close to Elk County. So, we might go up there and try to film some elk because they're in the rut right now. I don't know. I'll check back in a little bit. We're going to figure something out. I'm going to pull up the map, see what's around here. But... All right, guys. Well, Elk County is actually quite farther than I realized. Um, so I don't know. We're going to find something to do. I'm just going to hit the road and just screw some back roads, look for something to do, and uh, slowly make our way back to Pittsburgh. It sucks I drove all the way up here and all the way around this place with a canoe on top. I swear I didn't do it just for the looks. Maybe we'll try to get this in the water somewhere that's not a five hour flow trip. Let's go explore. You ready? Well, I have to say, pretty sad. Pretty sad we don't get the canoe this river today because it is absolutely beautiful sucks. What do I get to be up here on the day that a potential serious rainstorm rolls through? But if you can see now, you already see how fast this current's going. So imagine being out there on a canoe in a vicious downpour in a potential flash flood situation. Yeah, well, I was already going to be dealing with some white water. But... <clears throat> We're going to continue our way south, slowly making it home, but I'm at least going to put the drone up right here and show you guys the beauty of this river while there's no rain. Let's do it. Let's launch this sucker. First, let's make some more coffee. Let's fly.
Okay, so I was just about to check in with you guys and tell you the game plan. And I made a wrong turn and my GPS rerouted me. And it just took me past like this elementary school. And I'm like right behind an elementary school and they have a whole pen of fucking roosters. <laughs> Pheasants. And we're like just about pheasant season. And Byron like heard him cackling coming around the bend. So we're going to pop out real quick. And I might get in trouble for this. But I'm going to let Byron sniff around and get real pumped. Because it's almost pheasant season. Let's do it. What is Oh my god, Byron. What are those? Look at all the birdies. You smell them? See him? Get the birdies. Oh, look at the birdies. Oh, he doesn't want to, he don't want to leave the birdies. <laughs> Come on, bud. Come on. You don't want to go? You don't want to leave the birdies, do you? It's almost time to eat them. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is absolutely hilarious. He, he he won't leave. I've never seen this many roosters in my life, though. This is pretty awesome. He is so pumped. What a way! What a way to go into pheasant season, huh? So cool. So random that we just make a wrong turn, get redirected, and find this. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. So what I was just about to get on here and say before we found all those pheasants is um, we're just calling it a day. I'm going to start the trip home, start heading south. It sucks we didn't get the canoe, but hey, you can't predict the weather. And uh, I feel like everything happens for a reason. I like seeing all those pheasants a few weeks before pheasant season and getting Byron really excited. That was awesome. I, every, everything happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer in that. But there's two things I want to leave you guys with before I go. And it's my plan for this year of the channel is I want to I motivate you guys. I want to get you guys excited to go do stuff like this on your own, to just get out and do it. And I get asked two questions a lot. The first one being is, how do I know so much? How do I know how to do these things? So guys, there's the internet. Anything you ever want to know is at your fingertips. Do you want to know it? Look it up. And number two is how do I do these things? How do I get the time? How do I? I don't. I don't have the time. I make the time. I work 60 hours the week before this trip. I got off work around 7 o'clock on a Saturday. Came home, packed, and I left. It's, it's that simple. You know, just, again, the internet. Google map places. Just You just gotta go. You just gotta go and do it. And I hope that I can inspire and motivate you guys to do that because I've noticed as I'm not a professional in anything 
I'm not showing you guys how to catch all the fish, how to like just go out and kill it. I'm not a pro bass fisherman. I'm not a pro nothing. I'm just a hobbyist that likes to get outdoors. And I just want you guys to realize like you don't have to be any of that. Just go, just go and do it and enjoy yourself because that's what it's all about. And I'll leave you guys with that message as we make our way back to Pittsburgh. And I just want to say I love you all. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Please take the second to sign into Google if you're not. It helps me out a lot, it means a lot to me. I love absolutely every single one of you guys. So until the next one, hug your bear. Peace.